The Blastoise seven star terror raid event is happening right now in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video games. And I've got two solo builds that you can use right now to help you defeat it before this raid goes away. So let's get into the video and get you prepped for it. All right, so before we get into any of the raid builds, always we wanna talk about the Pokemon we're actually gonna be fighting so that we can understand why we brought the Pokemon that we are bringing. Now, this week is going to be a seven star Blastoise with a Steel Terra. So it does have a little bit of a challenging kind of typing to it, but we will get around that. Um, now, this event is going to be going on from March 6th until the 12th so you do have a couple of days to do it but once that time is up you probably won't get another chance to do this one so don't miss out on your chance for this epic mighty marked blastoise uh there is only one catch per save file and you will not get a shiny of this pokemon in the raid so don't re keep resetting it trying to get one now blastoise is our water type starter pokemon from kanto the shellfish pokemon it does come with the rain dish ability so if there is rain up in the raid battle then it is going to be healing 1 16th of its HP after every single turn. That is something to definitely keep in mind because anytime the raid boss is getting recovery, it is making it take longer for you to defeat it. And since these are timed events, you're actually, you know, it's making your life a little bit more difficult than it needs to be. So we definitely need to make sure we take care of that. Um, it is going to have a water typing. So there isn't really a whole lot of like crazy moves we have to worry about there isn't a lot of coverage for this pokemon it is pretty minimal at this point so we do have hydro pump which is it's basically its signature move for blastoise a big water dealer water damage dealing move from it it also gets flash cannon so it is gonna get a stab for its steel terra which can be a little bit difficult and we've also got aura sphere all definitely help cover some of the weaknesses this pokemon would have ended up having and on top of it we do get iron defense so this one is definitely going to be a little bit more difficult for those physical type pokemon to break through so we're probably gonna be looking more at special type attacking pokemon or pokemon that really don't worry about the defensive boosted stats of the blastoise so um, it is also going to get withdraw shell smash and rain dance with some really nice like coverage and support moves to help it out in this raid it's definitely a little bit of a difficult one. It's a little bit bulky, and it's one of those ones where it actually drops the shield immediately. You don't get a little bit of a buffer zone until it drops the shield. It drops it pretty much at 99% HP. Um, so you definitely have to make sure that we're getting through the shield early on um, before we actually get into this raid. So yeah, it's a little bit difficult. Is it the hardest one? By any means, no. It's definitely not the hardest one. Um, but yeah, so we'll get into this raid builds. We've got a couple of them for you here. First one is going to be Vaporeon, which is the one that I use to defeat this raid. And if you want to check out the video of me actually defeating the Blastoise raid with this Vaporeon, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I will be uh, posting that here at the end of the video, showing you exactly what I did in the raid to defeat it solo with one of these builds. The other really good build that I've seen and been working with is the Glade build. Glade definitely seems to be a really solid physical type attacking Pokemon with some really nice options to help out with the raid as well. So both of these I feel very comfortable in giving you as solo builds or even just as a group build. Um, because honestly, if you could defeat this raid solo with the other ones, you could probably do it in a group with multiple people as well. So yeah, absolutely. Blastoise is here. Let's get into some of these raid builds so that you can get prepped for it and actually defeat it. All right, so our first raid build is going to be Vaporeon, which I think is definitely the strongest option in this raid build um, for one of the big reasons is that it's actually completely immune to one of the moves from Blastoise. Anytime you can get an immunity in these raids, you are absolutely like that's just that one extra level of like it, it works just that much better um any immunities help out because you're not taking damage which means that your survivability goes up tremendously meaning that you have a better chance of actually defeating this raid so vaporeon has the water absorb ability so we're able to absorb any of those water type attacks from the blastoise and on top of it which is also super crucial to this is that we get hp recovery anytime we're hit with a water type move so that is just all like by itself is really really huge in this raid now the way that we can really make this vaporeon do what we need it to do and actually defeat this raid boss is we give it weather ball and the reason why we're going to give it weather ball is because we definitely want to make sure that we're getting rid of that rainy weather that the blaster is going to be putting out because that's going to actually heal it so what we're going to do is we're going to be rocking with sunny day and that sunny day will actually change the weather ball move to be a fire type attack effectively giving us two things in this raid one we're removing the hp recovery from the blastoise 
we're also giving ourselves a super effective stab move in the sun to defeat this boss so all in all it works really really well and it pairs well with this raid now in order to actually get a little bit of extra damage because well vaporant isn't necessarily the strongest special attacking pokemon you're not going to be able to just walk in and start doing a ton of damage you definitely need to find ways to boost your damage and also drop the defenses of the raid boss so we're giving ourselves Calm Mind. It's a fantastic one for this one because the Blastoise is a special attacker. So you're actually giving yourself some more survivability and you're boosting your attack. And then once the shield is broken, you do have Fake Tears where you can drop the special defense of the raid boss, further boosting your damage into the raid. So all in all, I really think the Vaporeon is the better one out of the grouping. It is really, really solid in the one that I chose to take in the raid. And I had a very easy time defeating it. It was to be quite honest, very easy. So I would highly suggest the Vaporeon, especially if you're doing a, uh, kind of like a solo build. Um, but the next one that we're gonna get into is Gallade, who should be a really decent, um, kind of probably like a support Pokemon. Like if you're running in there, you could definitely help out with some supportive moves. And, or I believe it also will work as a solo build. I haven't tested out myself, but I have heard plenty of other people testing it out and saying that it should work as well. So let's get into Gallade. All right, so here we are with Gallade, our Blade Pokemon. Now, Gallade gets the really awesome ability called Sharpness, which boosts all of its slicing moves. And because it gets access to Sacred Sword, I remember saying earlier on that the Blastoise does get Iron Defense. Well, Sacred Sword doesn't really care about your defensive stats, so Sacred Sword will be going through and doing a ton of damage anyways. So we can kind of get rid of that whole, like, by that issue that we saw with the physical attackers just by using Glade and the move that it has. So Glade is definitely a really strong option. It also does get some really nice supportive moves that you can utilize in the raid, one of those being Mystical Fire. And because Mystical Fire does damage, you can do it even when the raid boss has its shield up. So that's always nice to have. Plus, it's also super effective, and if you've got people rocking, you know, putting up the sun, like, it'll do some decent stab damage. It's not going to do a whole lot, but it'll do enough, and it'll actually, you know, add into the damage pool that you're doing to the raid boss. Um, like I said, Sacred Sword is going to be that move you definitely want to have. It's super effective in the steel typing and will negate some of those defensive stats, so you don't have to worry about it, and you're able to get in a nice chunk of damage. Swords Dance is going to boost your damage by plus two every turn. Anytime we can get one of those, it's, I mean, it's huge. A uh, plus two boost in a raid battle helps out a lot because now you don't have to waste two turns getting up that boost. You only get up to waste one. Um, and then pair that with Sacred Sword and a Sharpness ability. Man, those things are going to be crushing that raid boss. We've also got Light Screen. Light Screen will help out a lot. It'll just help keep your uh, team uh, alive. It'll give you a little more survivability because all the moves from the last race are special attacking. So all in all, I think Glade will be a really just a fantastic option as well. A nice support Pokemon could definitely help out with a group. Or like I said, it should, with the moveset that it does have, should be able to solo the raid boss as well. So let me know down in the comments which Pokemon that you ended up building for this raid. I would be really curious. I only built two for this one because, well, they just felt like the strongest Pokemon. And after, you know, researching and looking into them, it just, I didn't feel like there was really any other need to go any further than that. But I would definitely love to see what some of you all brought to the raid and see if there was something that maybe I missed. All right, here we are with our Blastoise raid and our Vaporeon. So let's get into this, test out this build and see if we can't defeat this solo. Let's go. So we got that Steel Terra Blastoise. It's gonna be a pretty good one. This one, it's definitely not gonna be as easy as the Venusaur one. Obviously, with like the Venusaur one, we had the 100% immune Gudra. So that made that super easy. This one will be a little bit more difficult, but definitely shouldn't be um, too, too terrible because we do have water absorb, we have sunny day, and we definitely have ways to get some damage out and just overall should be able to do what we need to do here. Now, he is going to reset our stats at right around 60% HP, and he should just basically knock off his shield right off the bat. Yeah, so he's an immediate shield, just like literally right off the bat. So let's take a look here. What do we want to do? So he'll reset his stuff here in a little bit. What a nice sunny day. Now, I think I want to calm mind a few times. I, ne I need to get actually through the shield itself. So like, that's kind of one of the big things. We need to actually get through the shield so that we can get to the point where he resets our stats and we can start getting some damage in. 
So I'll probably call mine a few times and then um, can't fake tears. Yep, so we can't fake tears quite yet. We'll have to do that after the shield goes down. I'm almost debating on whether or not just to calm mine like six times and then just crush him until he gets to that point. <clears throat> Alright, so that's three calm mines. Get four out here in a minute. We're getting pretty close to being plus six, and then we can just crush the shield. That's like I said, that's gonna be our biggest problem, just getting rid of the shield at this point. It's five, so we got one more call mine, we'll be plus six. And then we should just be able to absolutely just crush the shield that he's got. Alright, we got one more. Probably have to sunny day again too. So I probably didn't need a sunny day on turn one. Nice, we got a little HP back. Um, but I'll definitely sunny day on this next turn. And then we're gonna start weather balling and uh, we'll tear it here in a minute too. All right, so we got our sunny day out. Now our weather ball will be doing some fire type damage. And then we can I guess, remove negative effects from itself. Cool. All right. So we got our first one out. I wonder what this plus six weather ball is going to do. A chunk. It broke off a piece of it. I mean, once we tear it, it'll do even more. But, like, it'll take us a couple turns to get through this. This will be number two. So then after this, we have one more before we can Terra. Oh, it's going slow right now, but like I said, I think, I think once this Terra hits, it's gonna, it'll boost our damage even more. All right, let's see how much we take out now. Cause we're right around like 60% on the shield. Um, so it's not too bad. We're not too far behind the timer, which is good. And then once the shield gets broken, it'll be pretty easy to, to crush it back out. Crush the actual raid boss again. Warriors 3 does negative damage. Weather ball, fire, Terra in the sun should do a nice chunk. I'm expecting like a third. Actually, it was a lot more than that. It was almost like a 50% shield reduction. So that was that was huge. Next one will definitely blow past the shield. Okay, so our stats have been changed. That's perfect. So now what I can do is I'm just going to hit it with one more weather ball. Ooh. Yeah, let's hit it with one more weather ball. Let's just break the shield. It didn't break it. Honestly, I was really expecting it to break it right there. Okay, let's do a Calm Mind. That's right, we also didn't have Sunny Day up either, so I mean that definitely, like... I wonder if the NPCs will actually break the shield here in a minute. All right, we're at 50% timer. Shield is just about broken. We're getting our calm minds up so we can live through some of this stuff because he's he's boosted his special attack up a little bit, so it's definitely going to be a little more problematic. I think we'll sunny day, and then I think we'll hit him on the next one.
He's so close to getting that shield broken too. Okay, so he's paired. That'll be really nice. That'll help. That's always helpful. Nobody got rid of it. Okay. We broke the shield. We're back up to almost full. So I'm going to fake tears. One. And we got two here. Alright, so this will be the third fake tears. This will be our third calm mind. I'm gonna do an attack on the next one because I'm gonna get some of our HP back. I definitely don't wanna get knocked out. Sunny day left, so we gotta get that back. Ooh, it's coming down to the nitty gritty. We're gonna have to get some damage out here. <clears throat> All right, I'm curious how this is gonna do, because we have three kind of uh, special attack boosts and they've gotten three fake tears. So like, it should be a nice like sway in our favor here. Yeah, that actually just completely knocked it out. Let's go! Let's go! Blastoise is taken out. Yo, Vaporeon was easy. I mean, that was actually really easy, especially knowing, like, when certain things are going to actually, like, happen in the actual raid. Um, so knowing the shield's going to pop off right away, and it's going to take a while for him to negate our stats, we have some time while the shield's up to just basically boost ourselves with that Calm Mind, get yourself ready, Pump out a bunch of damage, break that shield. Once the shield's broken, he's gonna reset your stats again. That gives you some time to rebuild them back up and then knock them out when the shield's down. So yeah, overall, super easy. Vaporeon made this one an absolute cakewalk and uh, I would highly, highly suggest you snagging Vaporeon for your solar run because that was, whoo! Actually, you know what? I think I might do a beast ball on this guy. I don't know, what do we wanna do? I mean, a heavy ball is pretty legit. I like the heavy ball. I think we're gonna do heavy ball. I like the heavy ball. I feel like the heavy ball looks really cool with Blastoise. I'm down with that. All right, and then let's see at the end. Do we get any Herba Mystica? Because there is a chance now with these starter Pokemon with the Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard raids where there should be the potential for some Herba Mystica, which is cool because they haven't done that before. Did we get any? Nope, that's two raids now we've done. We did the Venusaur and the Blastoise, zero Urba Mystica, but hey, that's all right. Super easy though. What an absolute blast that was. Yeah, but seriously, thank you all so much for coming out to this tutorial guide for the Blastoise seven star terror raid event. I always love going through these and building Pokemon to help out with these. It's like a little puzzle for me. And um, I've also been collecting each one of these mighty Pokemon since they came out. I have each and every one of them, except I think I might've missed one. Um, so yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I really enjoy them. And if you like this kind of content from here, if this was helpful for you, make sure you hit that like, that subscribe, and that notification bell so that you notify YouTube that this is a solid video with some really quality content that other people should be checking out. It also just lets me know that you enjoyed it so that I can continue making them. But again, thank you all so much. If you are into Pokemon Scarlet Vine and you like guide videos, I've also created one of the easiest shiny Applin hunting guide videos on YouTube. So you can check that out here on the screen. It should be popping up now. But again, thank you all so much for your support. I cannot thank you all enough. I hope you have a fantastic day out in the Paldea, the Kid Academy, and now the Blueberry Academy. And until next time, trainers, peace out.